Tinubu has 17 oil wells in Niger Delta. He pays himself for a subsidy. Garros Gololo alleges. In a shocking revelation, Dr. Garros Gololo will be shifting of the All Progressive Congress, APC. He don't accuse President Bola Tinibu of corruption and cronyism. In an interview with ATP News, Golo Lokon alleged that Tinibu gets 17 oil wells in the Niger Delta. As he be said that oil wells so, now his children that they manage them. Through a refinery in Mata, Golo Lokon further claims that Tinibu he don't acquire ownership of Orlando Philly stations and Ajipo, giving him significant control over the oil industry. He can also allege say Tinibu they pay himself subsidy he previously removed, ensuring that fuel prices remain high. Additionally, Gololo can claim say Tinibu don't even award himself a 15 trillion contracts. This allegation so can come amid widespread protests against the removal of fuel subsidy, which have led to increased hardship and anger among Nigerians. The protests tank and bad governance and hardship. It don't day ongoing for weeks so with demonstrators demanding reversal of the subsidy remover and improve governance. Golala's interview, it don't spark intense debate and it can still raise questions about the integrity of President Bola Tinibu's administration. Why some have questioned the validity of Golala's allegations Others have expressed concern about the lack of transparency in the presidency. To understand the implications of this allegation, so it is essential to examine the context in which they were made. The removal of white subsidies has been a contentious issue, so, with many Nigerians feeling that the government. It don't abandon them to suffer. The protests, it don't they ongoing for days with demonstrators demanding action from the government. In this context, so Gorola's allegations it come they seen as a further indictment of the government's handling of the situation. No, if not true, the allegations can suggest that Tinibu. And in family, they can't they make money from the removal of fuel subsidies. So, why ordinary Nigerians now they can't be the one can't they suffer amo? The presidency in over respond to Golala's claim. So, fueling speculation and concern among Nigerians, as he be said, the protests continue. It is essential that the government. Make it address these allegations and make it take immediate action to address the concerns of Nigeria. So, in conclusion, though, the allegation made by Dr. Dairos Gyros Gololo has sparked intense controversy and raised questions about the integrity of President Bola Tinibu's administration. Though. You see, sir, with this kind of allegation. You go there good well, well for the presidency to respond to these claims and make it take immediate action because transparency and accountability is there essential in governance. So, and this is not time for the government to come clear. Clean. So, guys, you see these allegations will be said there on ground. So, if this thing is not true, now we say get the way these our leaders that they live their lives. So now we say this 
My do be said that they get saved, they did that place. Now to just embezzle money for only themselves and their generation. He don't eat deep into our leader, so because it not go just that easy for somebody to boldly come out like this to come they talk this kind of matter or in the name to just bring down our president because he need to respond to this kind of allegation. So if he not respond, he can't show say waiting got a lot of talk say not true true and if true say that is not true he can't show say this way subsidy where our president removed so now for the commoners to suffer ramo and this kind thing he not show transparency and accountability for governance so the truth is that a good government now person will be say he go lead the people and he go see say this, they go well with them or with them. Any government where go their position, where they want do things just to benefit himself and the entire generation, where not the reason, where the commoners that they pass through. Now that kind of one, now that they call bad governance. So. Now all this will make you see say, the angry youth of Nigeria, they can't come at, they pour out their mind though, because they don't they frustrated over the things where we say it they happen for this country as a result of the first subsidy remover and the floating of the Naira. And they need the government to answer them all so that things go better pass as it be now. So my people, my people, they will say why well, I be like bicycle. This allegation now every matter where we say it go attract so many people. To come know if this matter now true. And as time goes on, we'll come see how people will come react to this kind of allegation. If true, true, now true, that they talk. So, my people, my people, the matter, it go end for you. If we not get anything to talk, make on a drop on for the comment section. And make on a not forget to subscribe to this channel. I salute to now.